One Piece. Oh. This is One Piece chapter 100, oh, 1004. Excuse me. I'm not used to seeing quadruple digits. Uh, really good chapter. Certified RGC. Certified RGC. Certified RGC. Very close. Chapter 1004. Yeah. <laughs> Um, wow. Second favorite for me. but 1,000 chapters. Man. Oh, yeah. I know we already did this, but... <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's always amazing. it's always amazing, you know, when you look at that. It's a lot of chapters. Um, but, yeah, we open up with uh, Speed, the Animal Kingdom Pirates headliner, who, uh, made f- who was basically mind-controlled by Otama earlier in the, in the arc. Um, she basically pulls up to the island... And she has like a bag full of uh, Otama's like little dumpling, cheek dumpling things that she pulls off. Uh, For those who don't remember, uh, Otama has a devil fruit ability which allows her to pull little bits of herself off of her cheek. And any animal or I guess animal adjacent thing like Zoan fruit users and even fake Zoan fruit users like smile fruit (laughs) users. They can eat it, and they will basically be under her control, um, which is pretty cool. Uh, it's a good way. It's a good way to like reveal its utility down the road because they didn't make it a big deal across the arc up to this point. Uh, it's only shown up a few times, so it's very cool for it to pay off here, where she basically spent has been spending this entire time just like pulling dumplings off of her cheek. So that she can help in her in uh, the the Samurai Pirate Alliance uh, efforts against Kaido, uh, and we get a couple scenes where her uh, small fruit minions that have already eaten these dumplings, uh, basically going around this fucking going around Onigashima and feeding their co their comrades these dumplings, turning them onto Otama's side. Uh, which is pretty cool because the CP0 guys pretty much uh, predicted that, like, eventually they're going to win by just sheer numbers. So, you know, it's going to be a while. But now a lot of numbers have shifted into their direction. Yeah, just like that. Yeah. Yeah. So. Very cool. Interesting. Yeah. Um, we then cut over to Frankie versus uh, Sasaki. Big dinosaur Fredo versus. Suke. Oh. Suke. Yeah. There we go. There we go. Yo, dude, he's coming up. Let's do it like, right for the guy. Big robot man versus Triceratops dinosaur. Let's fucking oh. go. Has it ever gotten more hype than this? <laughs> so, I don't think so, and it's cool too because it starts off with Frankie just like shooting, but it doesn't work because he's a fucking Triceratops and they're bulletproof, I guess. Uh, slams him against the wall, but no, no, no. Frankie caught it and then he just wah, like turns him over into the wall. Uh, and Sasaki's on the ropes. He's like, well, not really, but he's like not doing great. And uh, his his uh, comrades just pull up and start holding Frenosuke down. And he, he's like, we got him, Sasaki. Get him now. You know, now's your chance. Uh, and Frenosuke is like, no, how am I going to get out of this one? But then he hears someone calling his name. And it's uh, Otama, Usopp, and Nami all charging at them. And they're terrified because they're being chased by what looks like a bunch of fucking gifters. Um, and, um, yeah, Sasaki's like, ooh, we got the advantage numbers now. It's my time to shine. Uh, but, yeah, it turns out it's all a, it's all a farce because uh, Sasaki takes a closer look. And Usopp and Nami are like, mm, <laughs> got you, bitch. And uh, the gifters are on their side. Uh, they turn code immediately and get rid of the gifters around Frankie for him uh, and allow him to dodge Sasaki's oncoming attack, which is uh, pretty sweet. Uh, they're cool. And Sasaki's like, what the fuck is happening? Page one, ulti, do something. Uh, and... Uh, Ulti just comes up, tries to do something, but Nami's like, nah, bitch, I got lightning. And she does the Thunderlands tempo, driving a thunderbolt straight through Ulti's heart. Very cool. 
uh, Nami already knows that look, my one-on-one's not over. <laughs> it's going to be a lot more than that. I need, I need, I need, I need some, uh, need some more juice. Yeah. Uh, I, I hope they, I hope they give her an opportunity to show out. We're gonna see. Yeah. No. Yeah. For sure. This is still like basically the beginning of this battle. Um, Usopp snipes a few uh, millet dumplings into uh, some more gifters' mouths, turning even more people onto their side. And uh, <laughs> Frankie just kicks Sasaki in the face as he's like, what's going on? Stop that armored division. He gets kicked in the face. And it looks like Frankie has like a fucking lightsaber. He has the Franken sword. It's this glowing sword that his giant robot pulls out. He <laughs> got a beam sword. <laughs> yeah, it's so fucking Holy cool. Shit. And he comes down with the V for victory slash. Let's go. Uh, Cutting Sasaki. I'm sure this is not the end of this battle, but it is pretty cool to see Frankie show up. He's one of the more uh, underutilized straw hats to me. I I feel like uh, I haven't seen that much out of Frankie. I I really like him a lot. Uh, Meanwhile, on the banquet hall on the third floor, Sanji is down bad. (laughs) He is not doing great. Um, Black Maria has him tied up in her web, and she's base. She tells him, "Like, ooh, you did really, you really did a number on the men here, but you can't fight women, so we beat the shit out of you." Uh, so you know, now I hold the life, uh, your life, in the palm of your hand. Go on, call for Nico Robin. <laughs> I wonder why they want him Robin. I guess because mm. you can read the poneglyphs and stuff. But poneglyph stuff, yeah, isn't yeah, that what it is? Know. Yeah, I figured. And the CPO is there. Also, so that, they, they, that's they're true. invested, right? That's, yeah, uh... you're right. That's actually that's also true. Um, so, yeah, basically, they try to get him to call for uh, Robin. And Sanji's like, what are you going to do with Robin? And he's like, I, I don't know. We'll capture her and torture her and mutilate her and mutilate, mutilate her limbs. And only when we're done with her, however many years it takes, we'll finally kill her. Kill her. So don't worry. She's got time. Uh and Sanji says something pretty cool. He's not like saying like I'm gonna save Robin. He says underrate Nico, underestimate Nico Robin at your own peril. And um, we cut over to the performance floor as one of the I guess these uh, Kaido henchmen who have omnipresence over this building <laughs> is uh, is looking in, and she sees that the uh, samurai have been detected. They have escaped the roof and are bl- and are bruised and, and bloodied. So you know, I know where they are. There and uh, they're beneath. They're right beneath the loot, the roof. Um, King is like, I'm busy right now. I can't do this shit. So he calls Black Maria and is like, Yo, uh, we know this. The Ayakaza samurai are. Uh, go deal with them. So, yeah, I guess she's gonna go and deal with the the samurai, but uh, the lady also detects something else uh in that room he sees 10 people there or she sees 10 people there uh someone is there attempting to save the samurai and it's a person completely shrouded in darkness uh we don't really see them but they seem to be trying to heal uh, the akazaya uh, uh, nine at the at the time and that's where the chapter ends and we have one piece off for two weeks fuck for two weeks? Next week it'll be back. I mean, you know, like next right, next Sunday. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. Well, looks like we're getting a Robin fight, so that's always, that's good. Yeah, probably. I'm going to move back who, the, who that person is in there. Wasn't yeah. there someone that could, that could heal people with their two drops or something like that? Am I bugging? Yeah, that's that's Hiori, no? Isn't that Hiori? No, no, no. You're thinking about the girl from dress, the the little Tantata from dress. Rock. Oh yeah, the Tantata girl. Um, damn. Yeah, I don't know who this is. Um, it's too shrouded. There's not enough of a, of a, even a figure to to go is on. Is it Enaru? <laughs> is that why? Because you see the little uh, earlobe thing. That's pretty funny. If yeah, you're... the little lobe thing. <laughs> People are like, oh my god, it's an Enaru. But it's like, why the fuck would Enaru be there? He doesn't have the <laughs> drums around him either. So, you know, that big shit that he has in his shoulder and goes all the way. Yeah, the, the lightning god thing. Yeah. Um, I mean, I don't know. I don't know who this mm. is. There's literally not enough uh, information to go off of. But very, very cool. Um, what a good chapter of One Piece. Uh, third, uh, second flavor, favorite to me of overall the RGC. But they're 
might be a series that have uh, just gone a little bit more beyond. But very cool to see Frankie show out, do some cool shit. Uh, nice to know that Usopp and Nami aren't done. Uh, and, you know, that we can expect more from them. Very excited. Can't wait for the next chapter in another week, Oda. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> 